Next up is the octave mechanism on the main tube and the thumb rest. I actually made the thumb rest already and I decided to go for a hardwood material, not your ordinary um, plastic or pearl or whatever because I want the sex to stand out visually as well. So I chose a Danish hardwood material, actually quite a rare hardwood, but it's not just wood. It's actually been acrylically improved or enforced. So this behaves much more like a plastic material than it does wood. And that means it's not gonna deteriorate from sweaty palms, it's gonna stay looking good like this forever. I made a little socket out of brass, I turned it on the latte and made a little hole in the thumb rest and prepped this for soldering so it's ready to go on. Base is on and the thumb rest fits, but I'm not going to glue it on uh, because the whole horn is going to be gold plated, so I'll just wait with that. I put two of the palm keys on the horn because I, I need to know what free space I have to work with when I'm doing the octave mechanism here. I use a post pounder to get the rounding of the post foot precise and I measured up 26, that's how uh, wide the diameter is on that point where this particular post is going. Now it just needs a little whack. Perfect. And voila. The octave mechanism is coming along very nicely. I'm quite happy with it so far. Um, it works as it should, you know, with everything moving in the right way. What I'm left to do is I'm still lacking this arm that connects the main lever of the thumb with the octave mechanism itself. And yeah, I need to just measure up something and get that on this. And I need a little spring action as well. I'm gonna do like SML, put in a little spring here, which will actually help this octave pip open. And it makes for a much snappier octave change. The top of the sax is looking more and more like a saxophone now. The octave mechanism is all in place now and it's working fairly good. I need to push this down for it to actually work, but you can see the mechanism is doing what it's supposed to, lifting the octave mechanism on the, on the neck. There's a lot of play in here and you can hear it kind of making a lot of noise, but it's supposed to do that because the plating is going on and making everything a bit thicker. So that's, it's supposed to be like that. The next I'm gonna do a little rebuilding on is the palm keys, especially the D. That's always too low for a modern hand, so I'm gonna make that taller. Just cut it and you know move it up a little bit. So that that's gonna be quite an easy job, uh, not compared to building a complete mechanism. I think I used about one day doing all the mechanical stuff, turning and making all the parts and perhaps half a day putting it together. So that's not too bad because it, you get a really good result I think.